Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy Lamoa and today we're going to be looking at the Bosch X50 Ti Drill and Screwdriver Bit Set. Well, thanks guys for popping back to see me here in the workshop. I really do appreciate it. And if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. Now, let's have a look at what we've got today. We've got this Bosch X50 Ti drill bit set. Now, if you've watched these videos before, you'll see we've done the DeWalt 100 piece, the Makita 100 piece, and I was waiting for the Bosch 100 piece, but it was sold out everywhere. And apparently it's been discontinued. So we're paying £20 for the 100 piece sets and we've got a 50 piece set which is £17. So we've got 50 less bits for £3 less in money. So I'm hoping they're good quality ones and they'll last a, a good while. So we'll open this up now and uh, see what we've got inside. But I can tell you a handy feature that the other ones don't have is this see-through panel on the front in there. Now you might open your old drill bit case or oh, that one's missing, that one's missing, that one, whatever it is. With this one, we can see into the front and we can see where the major drill bits are before we start, so that's always good. It's got two little security tabs on the top here and here, and then two little levers. I'll open these levers. I don't know if I'll need a knife to cut the security tabs or whether I'll just pull them apart. No, I'll have to get a knife out. We've got a trusty dolphin knife here. If you've never seen one of these dolphin knives before, or delphin knives as they're called, um, you can buy one of these. Um, they're great handy fixed blade knives um, with interchangeable blades, just razors. You can, uh, you can have a look. I've done a video all about those, so you, you can have a look on there. Right, I'll just slip those then. That's that. And you always keep this in a holder because the razor in there is so sharp, so sharp. Right, so we open it up and let's see what we've got. We've got a little piece falling out there. That's it rolling round in the back of my truck. Right, let's have a look at what we've got then. So first of all, I can see we've got all our drill bits laid out at the top up here, which is great, easy way to do it. And I think that'll slide forward, look. So that'll slide forward, so there's no trying to get your fingers in to peel them back out. We can lift that up and we can pull out whatever drill bit we need and we can put it back down. Oh, there's a little plastic bit at the top here. What's this? All oh, right, we've got like a little see-through, probably so I can't see that very well on the camera. Put my hand behind it. We've got a little see-through drill bit, um, maybe a sizer there. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see when it goes on. I don't know what size these are to start with. Or maybe they're plug sizes or maybe they're just uh, a, a gauge for something. Anyway, that goes on there. What does it run from? It runs from... Uh, 10 down to 1 mil, so maybe maybe for putting your plugs in and see which size plugs you need but anyway back to the rest of the set first of all we've got the masonry drill bits these are the silver ones over here and they've got the special tip on the top and that special tip there is for punching through masonry whether that be brick or concrete whatever you want to go into so you've got these and then the sizes we've got in there a 10 mil, 8 mil, 7 mil, 6 mil, 5 and 4. Now if you're putting stuff up around the house, you're probably going to be looking somewhere between a 5 and 6 light duty sort of stuff. If you're getting bigger, maybe 8 for shelves if you've got some plugs in and some heavy duty stuff within the house, you'll be using 10. So that's all the way up to 10. So that's a good selection of drill bits there, cover most eventualities. The next ones are these ones over here. These are the metal drill bits and these are in gold and they're in size order. It's a really nice case, this, the way they're displayed. So they're in size order and they go from 1.5 mil, that is tiny and a really fine drill bit, all the way up to 6.5. Now, if you're drilling metal, really, once you get to about sort of 5 mil, I think that's, you're putting a lot of pressure on anything sort of handheld. Even with these 18 volt, 24 volt systems, you're putting a lot on there handheld. Anything bigger than 6.5, certainly you need a, a bigger machine or a, a pillar drill, either three or two phase, depending on what you've got. So that's a good selection there, and that's as much as you'll ever use, really. Then we go on to the wood bits. Now, these are the wood drills, and I'll pull these out, and you can tell they're wood drill bits because they've got the little spike on the top, and that spike is for just popping in, and they'll stick in there. It won't stand up because I didn't press it hard enough, but probably if I spin it round, 
you can get it in. So it'll stick into the wood, so when you're dr drilling a hole in the wood, you can pop that in, you make a little indent, then you pop that in, and then you know that you're drilling exactly where you need to go. You can just drill straight down with that, and that, that'll be great, straight into wherever you need to go, and the hole's gonna be dead central. So again, these drill bits run from 10 mil, which is quite big for a, a wood drill bit. I think anything you're drilling at home, again, to put some screws in, you're probably only gonna use up to about four, five, and six, but there's an eight and a 10 in case you've got any sort of heavy duty stuff to do. Or if you're putting any pipe work in, you can start off with a 10 and make yourself a hole in the middle. And then we can move down to these bits over here, which are for drilling holes. So if you've already drilled a small hole in there, you can drill up, start off with a four. Say you're putting a, a kitchen cupboard in, you need to drill a, a pipe through. You can pour some cables in the back of something. You can start off with a smaller drill bit, work your way up. Then we can use a 16 here or we can use a 22. And these are like hole for drilling holes, basically. The, the front goes in again like that, and it, as you spin round, it gets closer and closer, and it cuts in, and there's two little cutting blades either side, and that gives you the diameter of the hole. So they're a good addition to any set, really. You never know when they're gonna come in handy. The other way around it, if you don't have those, is to drill a series of holes, and then just get them closer and closer and closer until you can just tap it out with a hammer. But if you've got these, that saves a lot of bother. And I'll just point out that these are actually hex shank on there, so they'll fit into your, your drill system. Most drills and drivers now, they take hex shank and round shanks. The round shanks are on the drill bits normally, and then the hex will be on the, uh, the, the different bits that we've got in the, in the set. Now, while we're on the subject of drill bits and you want to get something fancy, doesn't really apply to us. We're normally working outside um, if we're putting anything up and we're screwing in and we use countersunk screws and they go straight in. But if you're making something a, a bit more refined, say, uh, indoor furniture or something, you can use a, a countersink there. And a countersink, you just put that in your drill and you drill that in and that'll just give you a nice indent so that when you put your screw in, your screw will sit down flush and it'll flush with the surface, or you can even put it a little bit below the surface, and then you can fill in over the top and sand it off and get a good finish then. But uh, we're not quite that sophisticated. <laughs> so now what else have we got here? Uh, we've got a, a magnetic drill bit holder. Well, I think it's a magnetic holder. Sorry, screwdriver bit holder. And we'll have some screwdriver bits here. So there, these are over this side. And we start off, there's the general purpose, we've got the, just a flat bladed single screwdriver, slotted screwdriver. We've got a couple of those in there, three different sizes. Then we go down to these star drives. Now star drives are very common now on electrical and uh, automotive items. So they're very popular at the moment. And then we've got hex drives there. They're replacing Allen key. Um, I know a lot of this flat pack furniture relies on Allen keys. And these little ones here are great. You can put those in your, your drill or driver, but just be very careful when you're screwing them in because they're going so quickly, but they can replace those. So that's always good. And then to use those, you put them into this holder. I'll get the end one out, the largest one, because it's easy. So there's the holder. Oop, I dropped it there. There's the holder. That'll go into your drill or your, your impact driver. And then the bit on the end should fit in. Now, hopefully it's a magnetic. There you go. And we hear a little click there, and that's stuck in. Now, with that stuck in there, you can move your drill round whichever way you want and it's not going to fall out. As long as this is screwed up tight, it'll hold the magnetic bit in and you do a great job with that. It's really handy because the amount of bits you've lost and the time you lose scratting around on the floor trying to find these little bits, you know, it takes forever. And then we move over to the other side and then on this other side, we've got all the Phillips and the Posi drives. Now, a lot of people get confused with these. The Phillips ones are basically, we started off with slotted screws and then somebody decided, right, what we could do with is put a cross on a screw instead and it will give us a bit more torque and make it a bit easier to screw in. So that was a Phillips screwdriver and that's just a simple cross and that's what these are, the first three. Phillips one, two and three, they're the different sizes and there's two PH2s, which is great because they're always the ones that you lose. Most screws that we deal with are normally twos, you get the occasional three and the occasional one, but most of them are twos, so two of those is always handy. Then we move on to the, the posi drives, PZs. Posi drive is like a Phillips drive, but it's got some extra little grooves in, like stars. So if you've got a straight cross, that's a Phillips. If you've got a little star, then it's a 
posi drive and if you've got a definite indented star then it will be these torque bits over here and we've got T15, T20 and T25 again they're quite sort of common pieces that we have so we have those on there and then at the end there's just a smaller hex one that I presume they couldn't fit on there so hex 3, hex 4, hex 5, x 6 and we've got the Phillips drives and the posi drives so they're all on there now I'll go and clip these back in the case it's a very nice case isn't it I'm impressed with this case I think, I think with people being able to see into it, I'm more inclined to keep it in good order than just finish with what we're doing and put the things back in or leave them around. I've all normally got drill bits and whatever lying about behind me here in the workshop. They get all over the place, but with a case you can see into, probably a bit more inclined to keep them in place because you know they're there. Now, I'll put the, oh, before I put the holder back, I'll leave that out. We've got a couple of bits over here. Now these are just little mini sockets really, I suppose. So we've got um, 10 mil, 8 mil and 7 mil sockets on there. Three different sockets and they're just six sided sockets and then we can fit them on. They've got their little socket holder here. So fit the little socket holder in. There's a little ball bearing there that will hold them on so they won't come off. And then I'm just thinking, will that fit in there? Yes, it will. So again, if you're putting together some flat pack furniture or other bits and pieces, working on small lawn mowers and things, a 10 mil, an eight and a seven are very handy little sockets to have. And if you can put it in the mag magnetic holder so it doesn't fall out when you're moving around, even better, right? Eh? Even better. So that's those covered. And then I think that is about it for this set, apart from the big thing in the middle, which we haven't had any others. In some of the sets, we've had uh, some little spirit levels and things. But in this one, we've got an actual craft knife, look. And the craft knife, we'll push that out. And I'm not going to touch it because these blades will be really sharp. But we push that out and we've got a blade. We can cut whatever we want to cut with it and we can pull it back. And it's retracted away and it's safe. Now, with this blade, you can also pull it out. And when, if you push it through, I don't know if you can see the grooves on there. I'll get a close-up if you can't. We've got these little grooves on here. And when this end the end of the blade is used, if you just squeeze it out, so you've just got the end of the blade, you use that bit up, it's gone a bit blunt, gone a bit dull, you've been cutting through all your cardboard and stuff, you can then ease this out, and there's some little serrations on there, and these little bits are where it can snap off. You get a pair of pliers, and you can put it on there, and just break it off, and it'll break that end off, and then you can slide it out, and you've got another new blade underneath. So really with this, you're pulling it sort of backwards and forwards to do it and you've got there one two three four five six seven two three four five six seven usable blades there's a couple more but seven usable say seven usable blades and the handy thing with this as well is when you slide it out to use your blade like so there's a little lever on the back and you can pull that out you pull that out and that's a locked in place then it can't slide in so when you push down it won't push back into the knife itself. It's held perfectly in place. Then you just clip that back in, as so, and put it away. And then we can fit that back in there. It's a good tool to have, because you don't get a knife in many of these things. And as you know, when I'm in the workshop, I've always got these around, because I have scissors, I'll break them, blunt them, whatever it is, can't find them. And then there's a little uh, instruction leaflet there on the knife that shows you basically everything that I've told you how to do and you can buy these replacement blades for this everywhere so there you go then i think all in all that is pretty good value for money at 17 pounds we've got some good drill bits here and they do seem good quality um, they're nice sharp everything in this case as well has got a light oil on it i don't know if you can see the sheen on here at all but everything's got a light oil on there and we spray all our drill bits and stuff in this we use this uh, bulldog the, the or bdx um, spray and it's a like a, a light oil and we can just spray over the top because we're working outside with our stuff and it gets damp and rainy and they start to go a little bit rusty and a little bit corroded and they lose their edge so just put a little bit of spray over the top and it just disperses the water keeps them oiled and it just keeps them nice and sharp so there's a, another tip for you but these are already pre-oiled so that's a good start and i think with a case that it comes in, it's a well-built case, plastic catches, I'm not really a fan of those, but they're not bad, are they? 
and the see-through bit at the front so you can see all your drill bits are in place. You know what? I think I'm quite happy with that for the money. So that was short and sweet then, the Bosch X50 Ti set there. Good value I reckon, looks good quality and well made. We'll put it into general use in the workshop and we'll see how we get on with it over the next couple of months. If you're looking to buy one of these, I'll put a link in the description below so you can have a look through there, hopefully find yourself a bargain. If you've got anything nice to say, you can put that in the comments and I'll try and reply to each and every one of you. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Jimmy the Mower, I'll catch you on the next one.